Okay, so I'm going to just clone in the page and then work through. Can I then delete this? I want to take this question out for space. Beautiful. I don't need this anymore. All of this has been transcribed. Okay, now if I look at object P, let's quickly look at object P. Since I'm looking for acceleration, then I'm going to say F net equals to what? MA. Oh, don't forget. Let's go back to our working space. All right. So you see my free body diagram is my workspace. Um, positive, then negative, negative. Beautiful. I actually do not need this anymore. No, no, no. There's one I need. Undo. I don't need this anymore. And I do not need this anymore. So look at, I need the ones that I have now resolved and written all the details. So that's what I'm going to need. Let's bring it here. Beautiful. So this is P and this is what? Q. Okay, I hope the resolving makes sense to you. That's where the key is. F net equals to MA. Let's check. I have T. Net is plus minus frictional force plus minus FG parallel. And in fact, if you don't write FG parallel, if you just write minus MG sine alpha, you are actually making your life easier. MA. Let's check quickly. Do we know the tension? No. Minus. We were given friction on P. Look at just below the diagram. Below the diagram there. I want to read that out. A constant frictional force of 2, 5. Alright. So we know that that is 2, 5. Minus. What is the mass of P? The mass of P is 2. And that angle there is 30. That's my alpha. Alright, so we have minus 2 times 9,8 sine 30 equals to 2a. Let's simplify all of this. Alright, we know that our sine 30 is simply half. Okay, so half times 2 would give us 1 times 9,8. But let's use a calculator since that's the most friendly guest that we have. Alright, so if I do that, I have 2 times 9,8 sine 30, and you would see is still 9,8 there, which is negative. Alright, so if I have minus 2,5 minus 9,8, what would that give us? That would give us 12,3. Okay, so T minus 12,3 equals to 2A. Equation what? 1. Now, using F net again equals to MA, for object, this is object P. Now let's work with object Q. What forces are we looking at? Fx plus negative tension, all right, plus negative mg sine alpha equals to ma. Do we know our Fx? Yes, 40. There's a mark for that for cos 45 minus t minus. What is the mass of Q? 3. 3 times 9,8 sine 30. Not sine 25, guys. Not sine 25. The FG works with the plane. The 25 works with the force. Equals to 3A. All right. Um, friendly guest again. Let's pull out our friendly guest, a calculator. Okay, so we have, let's do that on the side. 3 times 9,8 um, times sine 30. What would that give us? That would give us 14,7. So I, I've done that side. All right. What is 40? 40 cos 40 25 minus our answer. 40 cos 25 minus the answer we got here. Remember 14,7. 21,55. All right, so we have 21,55. 21,55 minus t equals to 3a. Now, what do we do? We solve simultaneously. All right, we solve simultaneously. And I do not want to calculate tension, I just want to calculate acceleration. 
I don't want tension. I just simply want acceleration. Okay. Because some questions will then ask you to calculate um, tension in the next question. So I just want to show you what to do there. All right, so we have um, T minus 12,3 equals to 2A. And then I'm going to rearrange this. Minus T uh, plus, I'm not changing sides, remember? Equation 1 and equation 2. If you add equation 1 and 2, T minus T would give you 0. So I'm adding downwards now, all right? T minus T would give you zero. Then I have minus 12,3 plus 21,55, and that should give me 5A. I'm adding. So let's get a calculator quickly. Let's just borrow one from here. So what do we have? Uh, 21,55 minus 12,3. That will give me. 9,25, which I have to now divide both sides by what? By 5. There's no mark for all of that. It's just a mark for the final answer. A is equal to 1,85. A is equal to 1,85. A is equal to 1,85 meters per second squared. Um, what are we looking for? Is it the magnitude? Yes, we're looking for the magnitude. Good. It's squared. And we are done there. I hope the calculation makes sense to us. Okay, before we go to that last question, let's see. If block P has now passed point B, how will the acceleration um, compare to that calculated in 2.3? right greater than smaller than or equal to all right if it passes block p then after sorry after b there is no more friction all right that's one thing there is no more friction f net increases and because f net is directly proportional or because acceleration rather is proportional to net force therefore a increases so in case you are told to explain that is your explanation there awesome because there's no more friction all right let's look at this last question quickly before we run out of time a force f is applied at an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal plus a 200 kilogram block Pulls, sorry, pulls a 200 kilogram block over a distance of 3 meters on a rough horizontal floor as shown in the diagram below. Alright, so we have that diagram. Okay, the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k between the force between the floor surface and the block is 0, 0,2. Now it is important because we're using Newton's second law here. Give a reason why coefficient of friction does not have units. All right, it is a ratio of forces. And let me quickly explain. Remember, kinetic friction is mu k times normal. Now, let's look for mu k. It is f k over that. This is measured, this is frictional force measured in Newtons. This is normal force measured in Newton. Do you see it has no units? Please note, this n here is not Newton. It's normal force. Okay, 5.2. State your work energy theorem. Oh, that's very simple. The net work done on an object is equal to its change in kinetic energy. Beautiful, 5.3. Draw a free body indicating all the forces acting on the block while it is being pulled. All right. Again, a constant force F. So there is a force F. All right. So if we go back to what we did earlier on. All right. A constant force F. So we need a free body diagram. Let's put that there. 
um, it should be a full dot let's just paint it good a constant force f and look at the way your force is so your force is angular that's the first thing all right there is a mass mass 200 okay hold on about pools a constant of the pools that's applied force right a 200 kilogram that talks about gravity okay fg over a distance of three meters on a rough rough means there's friction now friction is opposite the direction of motion my object is moving to the left friction must be acting to the right good rough friction horizontal flow oh which means there is a surface and with the surface i've got a normal Alright, so we have what? Um, force of gravity. I have friction. I have my normal. And I have my applied force. Lovely. That is your free body diagram. You have your format. Show that the work done by the kinetic frictional force on the block can be written as that. I love this question. Let's see if we can create a bit of space here. All right. 5.4. We're looking for the work done by kinetic friction. Hold on, let's start from here. Work done by kinetic friction is simply kinetic friction, delta x, cos t. Now, what is kinetic friction itself? It is mu k n. Lovely. The question would be, what is our normal force? Check this. I told you that you need to redraw this diagram. All right. So I would have my force of gravity there. I would have my friction there. I would have my normal force. But look at my applied force. It is not west. So it means I need to resolve one must go to the west, which is going to be on the horizontal, and one must go to the north, which is vertical. Ah, I hope that makes sense. And if you check my triangle, again, let's check the triangle that we form. We're forming this triangle where this angle is 20, and that is F. This is vertical, Fy, and that is what? Fx. This is the opposite to the angle. So Fy would simply be F sine 20. Okay, so let's take note. F sine, if you use your trig ratio, and this is simply F cos 20. Okay, now having done this, what is my normal force going to be equal to? What is my normal force going to be equal to? Okay, so I have cloned my page what is my normal force going to be equal to? I don't need this anymore. All right, let's take this out. I don't need that anymore. It's on the previous page. This I do need. Now, what is my normal force going to be equal to? Do you see that the two forces acting upward against that? So normal plus fy equals to fg right now normal is simply going to be fg which is mg minus fy and my fy is f sine 20 good um what is the mass 200 multiplied by 9,8 minus f sine 20 and this will give me 1960 minus f sine 20 now we know that our frictional force is mu k n and what is our mu given as 0, 0,2 is given and what's our normal force 1960 minus f sine 20. Mm. if you want you can simplify this all right um let's simplify what is 0, 0,2 but i will not simplify my sine 20 for now all right 0,2 times 1960, uh, 392. But let's confirm something here. 200 times 9,8, 1960, right? Multiplied by 0,2, 392. 392 minus 0,2 F. I'll deal with the sine 20 
later. Now, what is the work done by friction? It is frictional force, delta x, cos theta. And we know friction is always 180. All right, so this is 392 minus 0, 0,2 f sine 20 cos. Now, what is delta x? Don't forget, what is delta x? It's a t step displacement of 3. All right, and um, what is theta? Friction is always cos 180. Lovely. Which gives me minus 1 times 3, which gives me minus 3. All right. So if you then use that minus 3 here to multiply 392, let's check quickly. 392 times minus 3. 392 times minus 3 there would give me 1176 minus 1176. All right. Again, minus times minus here would be positive. All right. So what do we have? We have 0, 0,2 times negative 3. All right. Times negative 3 times, you know where the negative 3 is coming from, right? Because 1, it is negative, times sine 20. What we have? Negative 2052 continues. All right, negative 205. But there is an F there. All right? Um, and remember, if this is negative here, we have a negative 3, right? Wait. No, our 0, 0,2 is negative. Okay, we forgot the negative there, which makes no, no. Okay, let's do it. All right. Negative 0, 0,2. And all of that, we get plus 2,0,5. Plus 0, 0,2,0,5. F. And because it is work done, this whole answer is in joules. And that's what we are asked to prove in 5.4. All right. It is the same principles, guys. It's, it is the same principles. 5.5. Uh, Calculate the magnitude of the force that has to be applied so that the net work done by all the forces is equal to zero. All right, wait. If the net work done by all the forces is equal to zero, let's check. Let me just try to walk around. If I can walk around the small space here, it will be awesome. All right. Now, if I look at this object, the net work done by all the forces equals to zero. Okay, L look at this. If the if this let me clean it. If W net equals to zero, it simply means F net also must be zero. And if F net is zero, look at it. It means that these are the forces, the horizontal forces must be equal to zero. Okay, object is moving to the left, so we call that positive. So what is my F net? It is Fx plus negative friction, and that must be equal to zero. Now what is my Fx? It is F cos 20, all right? Are we okay there? F cos 20 minus... What is our frictional force? We got our frictional force here. All right. 392 minus 0, 0,2 F sine 20. And that must be equal to 0. Please, this, the negative sign and the bracket are very, very important. All right. Ah, this is just algebra. F cos 20 minus 392 plus... I hope that makes sense. 0, 0,2 F sine 20. And if you have been following, I like to do my stuff without using the calculator all the time. So F cos 20 plus 0, 0,2 F sine 20. If I move the 392 over, it changes. All right. So if you didn't take care of this bracket, you are going to have issues there. Lovely. Um, this is something as one, or you can bring out F. What you have here, what you have, you have cos 20 plus 0, 0,2 sine 20 equals to 392. So if I'm looking for F, what do I do? I divide both sides by the whole bracket, cos 20 plus 0, 0,2 sine 20. So you can then use your calculator and work that out. I'm sure you remember. All right, so we have 392 over 
cos 20 plus 0 comma 2 sine 20 okay and that gives me 388 comma 85 388,85 Newton and we are done thank you and that is how we walk through so thank you for staying tuned to the first review session goodbye